The reason why most pregnancy tests come in packets of two is because they're not 100% accurate. Just because the test says that you're pregnant doesn't absolutely, definitely, 100% confirm that you're actually pregnant. And conversely, just because the test says that you're not pregnant doesn't mean that you're definitely, absolutely, 100% not pregnant. This whole idea of tests not being 100% accurate is pretty much all there is to positive predictive values and negative predictive values. So if you test positive for something, there's two possibilities. The test is right and you actually have that something, or the test is wrong and you don't actually have that something. Remember, if the test is positive and it accurately reflects the situation, then you have a true positive. But if the test is positive and it doesn't reflect the situation, then it's a false positive. On the other hand, you can test negative for something. And again, the test can either be right, in which case you will test negative and you are actually negative, and so you have a true negative. But then the test can be wrong and you will test negative, but you do actually have the something, in which case it'll be a false negative. We can use probabilities in order to quantify how good a test actually is. And we're going to use conditional probabilities because we're interested in what the chance of actually being one way or the other is, given the knowledge that the test says one way or another. So, for a true positive, the probability is about the accuracy of the test. You're looking at the probability of you being genuinely positive, given the fact that the test says you're positive. On the other hand, the probability of a false positive is about the test being wrong. It's the probability of you genuinely being negative, given the fact that the test says you're positive. In the case of a true negative, the probability is about the test being accurate. It's the probability that you are genuinely negative, given the fact that the test says you're negative. On the other hand, the probability of a false negative is about the inaccuracy of the test. It's the probability that you are genuinely positive, given the fact that the test says you're negative. Positive predictive values and negative predictive values are about how good a test is according to itself, i.e. given the fact that the test says you're one way, what is the probability that you actually are that way? So the PPV is the chance that you actually are positive given the fact that the test says you are. And then the negative predictive value is the probability that you are actually negative given the fact that the test says you are. Say you have a positive predictive value of 97%. That means that of the 100 people who test positive, 97 of them are actually positive and three of them are actually negative. Say you have a negative predictive value of 81%. That means that of the 100 people who test negative, 81 of them are actually negative and 19 of those are actually positive. The last thing I want to say is that the positive predictive value is not the same as the sensitivity and the negative predictive value is not the same as the specificity of a test. The way I got my head around this was by realising that predictive values are literally about prediction. What do you do when you predict? You say something is going to be a particular way and then you find out whether it is that way or not. The test predicts that you're positive. What is the chance that you are actually positive? That's the positive predictive value. The test predicts you're negative. What's the chance that you are actually negative? That's the negative predictive value. Now, how I got my head around sensitivity and specificity was by musing on the fact that they both begin with the letter S. And S is also the first letter of the word spotting and sensing out. So, given the fact that you're positive, what is the probability that the test will spot that positiveness? That's the sensitivity of the test. And then, given the fact that you're negative, what is the probability that the test will spot or sense out that negativeness?
That's the specificity of the test. So that's how I got my head around it. I hope it helps you uh, and thanks for watching this video.